Hey everyone, it's been a few weeks since we took a look at the construction progress on our consolidated campus, so we thought we'd do so today. Last time we did this, we were largely still looking at the exterior of the building, and now we've really moved inside where they're making a lot of headway on the interior. We're going to start today in our lobby, and you can see they've made a lot of progress here. Off to the right is our community room, there's the main reception desk, and we're going to head across here to the training center. That room you see in front of you with the blue X's on the windows, that's the library for the training center. And we're going to come around this corner and go back and look at the classroom space. Uh, off to the right of this hallway, there's going to be two state-of-the-art simulation labs, and we're going to go into the main classroom space. You can see that it's all opened up now, which will give us the ability to host larger conferences. But this room can also be uh, divided down into three smaller rooms for uh, a variety of of other classes that may not be quite as big. Here on the upper level, you'll see the office space. Uh, there's a lot of open work area where we'll have desks and pods and then a few offices. Now we find ourselves down in the back of house area. This is our fleet maintenance area where our mechanics will work on the ambulances and other fleet vehicles. Swing around there. This will be the staging area where crews report to bring their truck in for service. And then we're going to head here into the parking area for all of the non-emergency transfer ambulances, our major incident vehicles like the AMBU bus and the major incident response RV, as well as some other fleet vehicles. We are on track to move into this facility in the summer, and we cannot wait to welcome you uh, to this state-of-the-art facility that will serve our community for many years to come. Be on the lookout for more updates coming soon.